Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. In this presentation, let us show the solution to MTOP 2024 Elimination Round for Grade 7 students. This is Part 1 of 5 Parts, Numbers 1 to 10. Number 1. What is the cardinality of the set with element 7, 14, 21? The pattern continues until the last element which is 84. To find the cardinality of the given set, observe that these are multiples of 7 less than or equal to 84. Hence, there are 84 divided by 7 number of elements and this is equal to 12. The cardinality of the set is 12. Number 2. If P is the set of all positive multiples of 5 less than or equal to 75, and Q is the set of all positive multiples of 3 less than or equal to 51, what is P intersection Q? P intersection Q is the set of all numbers divisible by both 5 and 3. So from the given two sets, P intersection Q is with elements 15, 30, and 45. Number 3. If the universal set is U, set of all positive integers less than A, what is the complement of the set of all even numbers? By listing method, U is with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then the set of all even numbers is with elements 2, 4, 6, 8. Hence, the complement of this set is the set of all odd numbers less than 8. And these are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Number 4. Find A minus B if A is the set with elements 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. And B is the set with elements 3, 7, 13, 17, 23, 27. Observe that the intersection between set A and set B is with elements 13, 17, and 23. Hence, the set A minus B will be set A minus all the elements of A intersection B. That will be 11, 19, and 29. Number 5. For sets A and B from the previous problem, what is the cardinality of A union B? Let us recall that in number 4, set A with is, is with elements 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, while set B is with elements 3, 7, 13, 17, 23, 27. So before, before we find the cardinality of A union B, let us find the elements of the set A union B. And these are 3, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 27, and 29. We know that the cardinality of the set A union B is the number of elements in the set. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 elements in the set A union B. Number 6. 
In a certain school, 64 have been to Batanes or Cebu. From this group, 42 have been to Batanes and 29 have been to Cebu. How many have been to both provinces? Let B be the set of those who have been to Batanes and set C be the set of those who have been to Cebu. Hence, we have the cardinality of B or C equal to 64. And the cardinality of set B is equal to 42, while the cardinality of set C is equal to 29. Now, we're looking for those who have been to both provinces. Then, we're looking for the cardinality of the set B intersection C. To find B intersection C, we have B plus C minus B union C. Substituting the values, we have 42 plus 29 minus 64. We have 71 minus 64. Then there are 7 who have been to both provinces. Number 7. In a survey of 100 respondents, 60 have used brand A soap while 50 have used brand B soap. If 15 have used both brands, how many may have not used any of these two brands? We're looking for those who have not used any of these two brands. Then we're looking for the cardinality of the set A union B prime. We know that the cardinality of the universal set is equal to 100. Let A be the set of those who have used brand A soap. Then we have the cardinality of A equals 60. And let B be the set of those who have used brand B soap. Then the cardinality of B is equal to 50. If 15 have used both brands, then we have the cardinality of A intersection B equal to 15. Now, let us first find the cardinality of the set A union B. And this is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of the intersection. Then we have 60 plus 50 minus 15, and this is equal to 110 minus 15, that is 95. Now, to find the cardinality of A union B prime, we have the cardinality of the universal set minus the cardinality of A union B. And this is equal to 100 minus 95 equal to 5. Another way to solve problem number 7 is using the Venn diagram. The rectangle represents the number of those in the universal set, and we have 100. Let set A and set B be represented by circles. Then in the intersection, there are 15 of those who have used both brands. In set A, we have 60, since we already have 15 in the intersection, then 60 minus 15, we have 45 in A only. Since 50 have used brand B and we already have 15 in the intersection, then we have 50 minus 15 in the set B only, that is 35. 
if we add the elements in A union B, that would be 45 plus 15 plus 35, and this is equal to 95. Those who are outside set A and set B is the set of those who may have not used any of the two brands, and that is 100 minus 95, and that is equal to 5. Number 8. If the numbers of the set 1, negative 3, negative 4, 5, 7, negative 9 are arranged in ascending order, what would be the second number? Let us arrange the numbers in the set. So we start with the smallest number that is negative 9, and then negative 4, and then negative 3, and then 1, 5, 7. It is clear that the second number is negative 4. Number 8. Which of the symbols equals is less than is greater than should be placed in the blank to make 3 squared plus 10 blank, 5 squared minus 10 through? Let us simplify the expressions on the two sides of the space. So we have 3 squared plus 10 blank, 5 squared minus 10. 3 squared is 9 plus 10, this is 19. 5 squared is 25 minus 10, and this is 15. Hence, the proper symbol is greater than. Number 10. Simplify negative 59 minus negative 27. Then let us solve negative 59 minus negative 27. And this will be equal to negative 59 <laughs> plus 27. And this is negative 32. That will be all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos.